Ginger Brave is one of the biggest threats to fast arena defenses in Summoner's War. Let me explain why. So it's really all a combination of the second skill and the first part of the passive. So the second skill is strip and increase cooldowns, and the passive gives him an extra 30 speed at the very beginning of the match when he has full HP. Well, any part where in the match where he has full HP, but it's really significant at the very beginning of the match when you want to take turn one, which gives him effectively 140 base speed, which is absolutely insane. If you saw this on a unit just directly, you would say, that's insane, that's broken, that's ridiculous, right? So it's not the entire match that he gets 140 speed, it's just when he's full HP, which makes him faster than and Triton, Kabila, Ashir, anything. Eff I mean, aside from Leo, aside from Leo, effectively faster than basically everything else. So, him on arena offense, he's going to be able to outspeed basically everything aside from Leo. So, this is the first question I'm sure some of you may be asking why not put him on defense? So, if you put him on defense, then you could just bring a water unit on offense for him to hit and not worry about him hitting the rest of your team and then have everything else on shield will and there's really it's kind of foolproof you don't have to worry about it and then the second question is what if he gets resistant we all know rng even if you put 100 percent accuracy on th you don't need to put 100 85 percent accuracy whatever you know what i'm trying to say but even if you max out his accuracy is what i'm trying to say he could still get resisted so uh there are three ways for an offense with ginger brave to be successful number one strip cooldown which most of the time if he's got 100 if he's got high accuracy he's got max accuracy um most of the time that's going to work sometimes it won't work so if it doesn't work what happens then well the defense ai could just fail because it's a summoner's war and you can't rely on ai for anything so you can either either um outspeed strip increase cooldowns number two defense fail number three even if they do actually get their skill off you could just resist. It's possible. It's unlikely, but it does happen. So of all of those three things, all of those three things give you conditions where you can actually succeed in outspeeding and nullifying their stripper, which is pretty solid. I would I would say there's probably a 10 to 15 percent. That's just my guesstimate, a 10 to 15 percent chance of you getting screwed on all three of those counts. So let's test it out. Let's see. How it works. 33 speed lead and a Triton. It's going to be super fast. We're going to take in our 33 speed lead and a Ginger Brave. We actually don't even need a 33 speed lead because we could do just fine. He's got 140 base speed. We could do just fine. Watch, he resists. There we go. Perfect. And then we do this. We don't actually even need to do... I mean, this definitely helps. Don't get me wrong. But we don't need to do... And I also wanted to use Kaki because Kaki is a fairly free-to-play friendly unit. I know some people can be like, I don't have a cocky. I've been playing for 75 years. 75? Really? And I put my face in the uh, in the right spot already. It's amazing. It's amazing how these things happen. Super easy, right? This I feel like we could outspeed either way. I, I don't think we really even need, like, I would just illusion this. I would just, I don't know why we're seeing some uh, not very exciting defenses here today. Let's do this. Increase or maybe they had maybe they had crazy 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 runes. Never mind. We are already outsped Please. Oh my god. This is painful. This is painful that we're our runes are too good Okay, I'll take that But unfortunately our runes are still too good <laughs> I, love, I love getting punished for that. I absolutely love getting punished for that. Count us will always find a way. They'll always find a way to punish you. There we go. This is one I wouldn't necessarily want to cocky. We're going to cocky it anyway. But I would prefer to Alicia this. I have an Alicia. She is not speed tuned for this team. Let's do Triton. Increase cool time. Let's do some more increased cool times. Let's do... Did we land the Samoth or no? Well, I guess we'll find that in a second. All right. And now Kaki Solos. <laughs> we don't we don't really need uh Ginger Brave anymore though at this point. Now Abelio Solos. I'm gonna I'm just waiting for the Abelio solo. Yeah. Uh so we're good. We can just auto 
right now. Normally, I would prefer like a, an Alicia here, though. Just because the Abelio is not going to be able to cut. She's going to instantly get another turn. He's going to increase his attack age, but she's going to instantly get another turn. And then also, Alicia has element advantage over more, more of that defense. Here is, I think, the best example. You see this all over the place. I really hope that they are fast enough. I really hope that they actually farmed runes. I would like to say that... Okay, so they got the uh, they got the Beast Rider Transmog. Let's see if they actually... Yeah, there we go. There we go. There we go. Because if they didn't farm runes... Oh, actually, not everything else falls. Well, she usually does pushback, so you don't really have to worry as much about uh, speed tuning after that, though. All right. Unfortunately, we're not going to take this, uh, this cocky down. Let's see if we can glance him. Nope, no glance. Okay. But we could still be at a decent spot. Right, right. And cocky solo Savannah all day. <laughs> I shouldn't say that. I shouldn't say that. Here's another one. We're going to find so many of these. Same thing. Same basic uh, concept. Except that there's a uh, Ongyuki instead of the... Let's see if he misses at some point. That would be nice to see. Actually, we should put some shield on here. Because I talked about the shield will. Please don't. Please don't stun Ongyuki. Oh god, that's painful. That's the one that that's the one that gets stunned. They summoner's war is gonna summoner's war you. It's <laughs> it's what's always gonna happen. Regardless of anything else. Yeah, okay. We're I'm not even gonna hit that. I'm not even gonna hit the Ongyuki at all. With something that can stun, because we know that we see we see. Again, another one of the same. Let's see if we can get some fails, though. Like, let's see if we can get some... ...where we don't increase the cool time. The issue, though... Yeah, we're having, uh... We're having this issue sometimes. Is that... Oh, my goodness. Uh, is that... If they're not fast enough, that is an issue. All right? So if they're not fast enough and they still have immunity when we try to defense break. So we need to slow our units down. Or we could bring a stripper. We could bring a, uh, a Chiwu into here. As the as the leader. Because we don't necessarily need Samoth all the time. There's so many of these. We're just going to keep hitting the same exact team over and over. But this is kind of the point. It's like we needed to have a good offense to hit these resist... Perfect. Perfect example. Resisted. Oh my god. <laughs> Perfect example. Resisted, but still wound up being okay. Oh, calm down. Here we go. And Blade Slaughter. Did we cool? Yeah, we did. Okay, nice. Perfect. And they have Guardian Wings, so they're obviously someone that's uh, been playing and has good runes on the defense. These defenses are everywhere, and this is just such a great offense team to take into these defenses as i already mentioned it seems like we're hitting the same teams but we're not that is all, again something to be maybe not again i don't know if i mentioned it but that is something to be potentially concerned about i don't really want to hit i don't even really want to do that uh that aoe though but that is something to be concerned about is that between the Savannah skill 2 and then also the we got the increased cool time yeah we have the we have the, the cocky next but the the Savannah skill 2 and the, also the Perna skill 2 that will also strip in addition to that that could mess things up sometimes depending on well the Perna is, is just going to skill 2 the Ginger Brave regardless. And as soon as Ginger Brave moves, we don't really need him to do anything after that. Another one. But again, I, I feel like I would want to bring Chiwu into some of these. Because we see we see a couple issues. I mean, no team is perfect. But we see nothing outsped us. Nothing nothing outsped us. I mean, I don't know how close they are to outspeeding. But uh, there's 140 base speed. There's nothing. Aside from Leo, there's nothing else that's going to outspeed us. So we might still knock Savannah off her uh, high <laughs> off her high horse. We'll see. Okay. 
And then we'll do the... Oh, yeah. No, 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 no. I, I would have been totally fine with... Uh, with her killing that, uh, that Samoth. I would have been totally fine with that. So we're going to hit one of these defenses. Now, more can go wrong here because we are more likely... We're pretty significantly more likely to not actually land skill 2 on the Clara. We're, we don't need to do this against this defense, though. So we actually did land it. And we don't care if she's uh, skill one strips. I mean, he had nothing on him anyway. But we don't care if uh, she's skill one strips that. We're also going to have to kill things multiple times because Nana is here. So this is not a team that I would take this into. We're, we took it in against this. But it's not a team that I would recommend taking this into because you don't know what's going to happen. And ex just like that. Just like that. And then Nana is stacked. And she... I mean... That, I think we still win this, but actually maybe we don't still win this. But this is not a team that I would that I would suggest taking this into, though. I keep talking about Chiu. Let's actually take him in now. Let's see how it, it's a Triton on defense with a 33% speed lead against the 24 speed lead. And I have absolutely no worry at all that we're going to outspeed this Triton. Resists, though. Resists. However, we did get a chance to see. Hold on, if Chiwu actually, because he's not on Will. So if he actually got uh, pushed back by that Savannah, which is unlikely, but still we should have put him on, uh, we should have put him on Will. Again, I was not, I was not really expecting to use Chiwu or I wasn't really, I was just being lazy, right? So uh, this did work nice because then we have to, because then we get to make sure that we don't have any, uh, they don't have any immunity on them when we do our uh, defense breaks with the alien. Now we're going to get CC'd. Oh, we don't get CC'd. Okay, that's nice. Thank you. Thank you for that. And we didn't get it. We'll do this. And I think we should be fine. I'm not really worried about that. That uh, Savannah. Yeah, I just want her to not come back from the dead with that, uh, that attack power buff. I'm more worried about the Carnal, actually. I think that's pretty obvious. The Savannah's a, a wind unit <laughs> versus a unit that could potentially violent proc his way into CCing your entire team. So there we go with a 24 speed lead. And I wasn't worried at all. Here's another one, 33 speed lead. We are taking in a 24 speed lead. I, I'm a little worried about the Samoth outspeeding the, not the Triton outspeeding. I'm a little worried that before Chiwu gets a turn. Samoth is going to cool him down. Actually, he's not. Oh, here we go. And he didn't do the right skill. So, welcome to Summoner's War. Let's do a... Let's do this. Not that we really even needed to, but we got silenced. We'll do this. And we should be in a fine spot. Maybe, maybe it's not as fine as I want to believe it is. It's fine. Yeah, it's fine. This is not as nasty as it looks. You could definitely just speedy fat Lucian this. You don't even need to go through all the trouble of maybe. Because this is... Yeah, you, you don't need to go through all the trouble. Look at this. This Gianna was nowhere close. Look at her attack age. Nowhere close. But this is just... This, is, this looks way scarier than it actually is. You could you could hit this with the a fat Lucian and you don't have to even worry about anything. I mean aside, aside from this year right here, the Dark Mage, uh somehow finding a way to solo with all her debuffs. But here's another one. We'll do more chews. However, the Dark Monkey is actually interesting. So the Dark Monkey is has a skill too that will steal a beneficial uh, effect. So we don't know who he's going to hit. So this is actually potentially scary. Resist but AI. And AI again. AI fail after AI fail. Actually, is Chiwu going to move next? Oh, never mind. This is this goes into that, uh, that second bucket. Bucket? <laughs> it goes into the second one of maybe... The AI, maybe, maybe we get resisted, but the AI still doesn't do what it's supposed to do. Because that's Summoner's War AI. There you have it, Wind Ginger Brave. He's not a crazy OP, ridiculous unit that dominates every area of the game. He is there for one specific purpose. He is a 140 base speed 
free to play friendly unit that neutralizes Tritons and Wunsas and other very, very aggressively fast units for PvP. Anyway, that's it for this one. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I will see you as always in the next one.